Hello friends, in this video we will solve a problem. A computer turns on, fans begin to make noise, but then strange beeps are pronounced and the screen doesn't turn on. If you have a slightly different situation, the computer doesn't turn on at all, watch this video. At the same time, I advise you to watch this episode to the end. And if you have a problem with your computer and this video will help you, the best gratitude is your comment below and repost to your friends. Why does the computer make beeps? These are encrypted error codes by which you can determine what exactly happened to your computer. The signals are emitted by a special speaker, which is connected to the motherboard in the speaker connector. When you press the power button on the computer, the motherboard and its internal program, the BIOS, begin their work first. Today it is already more advanced and is called UEFI. This is what connects your devices, processor, video card, etc. and higher level software, for example the Windows operating system. And when you turn it on, the BIOS checks all the connected hardware of your computer for operability. If something important doesn't work, it gives errors and if it cannot show them on the screen, then it does this with the help of sound signals. But what do these signals mean and how to fix it? Let's find out. And here is the first step. To decipher the error beeps, you need to determine what BIOS you have. I mean, what manufacturer is it? There are several of them and each has different error codes. To do this, look at your motherboard and type its model into the search box. Then write the word specification, find a site, preferably an official one, with its characteristics. For example, if the motherboard is ASUS, then we look at the ASUS website. Look for the instruction and there is a specification here. You can find the BIOS section and see that AMI BIOS is installed. It may be another in your case, the main thing is to determine which one do you have and then you can proceed to the second step. Decipher the beep error code. Sound signals after turning on the PC may include long and short beeps, similar to Morse code. If you hear one short beep, like this, then check was successful and everything is in order. If the signal is different, look at the table. Let's look at the AMI manufacturer first. For example, two short beeps means a problem with the RAM. It is not installed correctly in the slot or is faulty. Or five short ones, a problem with the processor. One long and several short beeps show a problem with the video card. If the manufacturer is IBM, then the signals will be different. Look and compare with yours. Now a word BIOS. ASD BIOS, Compact BIOS, Quattel BIOS, Dell BIOS, Inside Beep Codes, and the Phoenix BIOS, the biggest table here. The BIOS should help to determine exactly what happened to the computer. All the codes didn't even fit on one page. I also found such a table without manufacturer's instructions. Compare it with your sound signals, it's such a bonus to accurately cover all options. Step 3. Once you have determined what your problem is, try to solve it yourself. What can be done? If you find out that you have a problem with RAM, first of all remove it from the motherboard. Wipe the contacts, it is good to use an eraser. If you have two or more sticks, try to insert one at a time and start the computer. Or swap. Perhaps the memory is working just something with the contacts. It happens that they are oxidized from time to time. If you have identified a problem with the video card, do the same. Wipe the contacts. Inspect it also for swollen capacitors. If you have an integrated video card, try to borrow a discrete one from a friend and install it on your PC. If the problem is solved, you know what to do. Also, this error may cover an incorrect or missing connection to the monitor. If something is with the processor, you should also pay attention to it. For example, check its cooling, remove the processor itself and inspect for burns. It may need to be replaced. 
If the problem is with the power supply, disassemble it and clean it from dust. Also check the capacitors for condition so that they are not swollen. You can also take a power supply from someone you know and check if the computer turns on with it. The main thing is that there is enough power. Some errors occur due to the fact that the BIOS battery is dead. Try to get it at all and wait a few minutes. The BIOS will reset and the computer should turn on. If this is the problem, buy a new battery. Another thing that can help you is informational messages from the BIOS on the screen. Not everyone has them, but if you have beeps of some kind of error while the screen turns on, you can see labels that will indicate what problems were found. An internet search will help you find out more. We have considered almost all the situations that can be with sound error codes. I hope that when you will face with such a problem, you can easily solve it. And if you're just watching this video for self-education, that's fine too. Thank you for staying on our channel. Check out our other videos such as operating system comparisons and tips on Windows optimizing. The best gratitude is your comment and repost to friends. See you on the air!